I found this video off my phone from March 30th this year. This is what we woke up to here in Michigan. About, well, it was a few inches of snow. It was enough where we had to shovel. So this is about three weeks ago outside the window. And then we have yesterday. My magnolia tree blooming and no snow. Hello. I hope that you're doing great. I have a little time capsule here from 1982, April 1982, 42 years ago. A McCall's magazine with Victoria Principal on the cover. They feature some of the most glorious Easter dishes ever because that year Easter was towards the end of April. You love him, but he makes you angry. Hmm, what to do about it? Save $100 a month in coupons. Why my marriage went wrong. Let's say the tips that they gave you here didn't work. So we skip to that. What men say when they're being honest. The makeup that invites romance and a flower garden of sweet scents. A complete plan. This sweater that Victoria has on has the full knitting instructions included in this. There are actually two of them. Designer sweaters to wear two ways. Victoria is 32 years old in this photo. And they do an, an interview with her. It's mostly pictures with her in these sweaters, though. She played Pamela Barnes on Dallas. And Dallas was kind of in its heyday it, in 1982. It ran from 1978 to 1991, 14 seasons. She was on nine of them. Sounded like not only Victoria, but a lot of the people on Dallas were trying to get more money when their contracts would come up because it was a popular series. And then sometimes it worked out and sometimes it didn't. And I love the bangle bracelets. Pink and blue were so popular back then, like baby colors, and we'll get more on this in a little while, but Andy Gibb and Victoria Principal were together, till, according to the internet, March 1982, this magazine, I don't know when they interviewed her, but obviously it was published April 1982, and he is prominently featured as her boyfriend in this, but according to the internet, it says that they broke up around a month before this magazine. We'll talk about that. It's a sad story about Andy Gibb. What floor is this? This is Solarian Supreme. When there's no room for an ordinary floor, what a dream, a plant room, tiled, with a hammock inside of it. You could send away to Armstrong in Pennsylvania to get a free sample and a brochure. Let's see the asparagus fern, palm, some palms, very pretty. Virginia Slims, beautiful dress with that geometric pattern. You've come a long way, baby. And the Crush Proof Purse Pack, they always had these old timey ads that were made to look, you know, probably um, 
in the 1800s or the early 1900s, there's another palm tree for the dog. But they would always have a scenario where women were um, somehow doing some ta menial task and then they bring in the you've come a long way baby. Virginia Slims remembers when the higher forms of literature were well within a woman's reach. This guy's just sitting here. <laughs> this magazine seems to have a lot of anti-itch creams. This one's benign enough, but they get a little more personal towards the end. Let's just put it that way. This is Lana Court by Lana Keen. The Table of Contents. And a Hellman's Mayonnaise ad. Here comes summer pretty soon. Are you going to make a pasta salad? I have to say, that, well, that one's got tuna in it. This one looks pretty good. Green onions, lemon juice, basil, spaghetti, cucumber, green beans, carrots, zucchini, radishes, green pepper, and parsley, and of course mayonnaise. This one is, so that's the creamy garden fiesta. This one's creamy tuna twist, tuna fish, mayonnaise, vinegar, Cooked peas, celery, onion, and snipped dill. They both look pretty good. There's a lot of recipes in here towards the end. Nudit bleach for your facial hair. Did she remove it or did she bleach it? The feminine way to beautiful skin. We've had a lot of advances in hair removal, haven't we? More of table of contents. I think they still make this. I don't know about brand, but they still make Kellogg's all brand. I don't know about brand, but this is brand news. Kellogg's now Kellogg's adds the goodness of fiber to your life. And they have it in a bowl with some bananas. Nothing. This lady was a popular model back then. I should have looked her up. I didn't. This was the Double Day Book Club, and it reminds me of my mom because she is still a, a, a voracious reader, and I know that she joined book clubs when we were little. Just glancing at these titles, I can't really think of anything that she had off the top of her, off the top of my head. Looking at all these. And of course, you usually got a free tote book. There's a Merv Griffin biography. But what I always remember about these these ads as they would have an X on the explicit books. So, of course, as a kid, you're, you're well, at least my eye was always drawn to the, all the Xs, like, oh, that must be very um, dirty. So if it's 1982, I was about 14 years old. I can't remember my mom reading any of these. But they have the Beverly Hills Diet, a book about some Son of Sam, the serial killer. Dr. Wayne Dyer. The Busy Woman's Guide to Coupon and Refunds. And it talks about to start small in your couponing journey because it is time consuming and work your way up to be able to 
achieve maybe a star saver status. They give a step-by-step -step guide. Couponing sure has changed. They do talk about, depending on what age you are, <laughs> the phenomenon of a double coupon, where the stores would double a coupon up to 50 cents. Sometimes they would triple them, a paper coupon. My, those days have been long gone, at least at Kroger, where I shop for a very long time. And I, as a young mom, would I saved a lot of money with that. But it's, things are different now. It's just the way it is. They have, we have digital coupons, and there are people that still do paper coupons. I don't get any anymore. You pretty much have to buy a newspaper, or you can order coupons from coupon clippers on the internet. My need for large quantities of things has diminished greatly, so I don't do that much anymore. I do digital coupons, though. You almost have to. I love this ad. This is by Prince Machabelli. Prince Machabelli was a real prince, and he started a perfume line in the early 1900s. in Russia. And then there was strife and, you know, the, the czar fell. And there was changes in power. He ended up leaving Russia and coming to New York. And he ran a an antique store with his wife. And he sold the name. I think they made three perfumes and they came in little crowns. They were very pretty. He sold it. And then it changed hands a few times. He sold the name. It's Vicks Chemical. Owned it for a while. Then Pons. And then, so at the, this time, Pons would have owned it. And then they were acquired by Unilever. I just thought that was interesting. This is Shamir. And we have a business lady business person with three other business people and she they're looking at blueprints so to the world it's discreet and elegant but up close this is maybe later that day it's something else I wonder if it's one of these guys I don't know Shamir I wonder what it smelled like All the world's flavorings, only one works virtually salt-free Angostura bitters from Trinidad and Tobago. I think it's, at the, well, at this time it was at um, the business part of it was handled here in New Jersey. But that's where the original mixture came from was Trinidad and um, Tobago. It has 40 ingredients and their secret. They talk about refunding, which I have to say I don't do too much of. I used to. Sending in the UPC codes. Benson and Hedges and surprises. Surprises. What's the surprise she has as she's having her smoke here? And me. Well... I don't know, did she get those flowers maybe? And she's reading the card. I want to read it. The pleasure lasts longer. I never heard of this. Rejuvia, penetrating moisture formula. It had vitamin E. From Dell Laboratories. They had some sample offers that you could do to get a refund, just to try it out. A lot of these names uh, we can still see now. Peanut Bam Peanut Butter, a L'Oreal Frosting Kit to frost your hair. 
they are aspirin. I, I'd say most of these brands are still around. I don't know if they're owned by the same parent company. This is a wonderful ad. Now you see it. We see a pair of red lips drinking out of a straw. Diet Pepsi. Now you don't. And this is a skier because she has ski boots on and there are her yellow skis. Very svelte figure. Save a quarter on either a two liter bottle or a multi-pack of cancer bottles. Now my mom drank Diet Pepsi and she would buy the eight pack glass bottle that came in the cardboard container. And I remember carrying them in and it was heavy. And I also remember us wanting a pop and we would open one up thinking oh it can't be that bad and us just thinking it tasted terrible now fast working Reaban tablets for stomach trouble Tony Perms find the perm that's right for you all these checks. Is your hair color treated? Normal? Hard to curl? And then this. I want body. I want medium curl. I want curly curl. And it would tell you how long and really which product because there was Silk Wave Gentle, Silk Wave Regular, and if you really wanted to kick it up, Silk Wave Super. There's also a lot of offers in here to send in things for a free yo-yo, um, a free pan from Kellogg's cereal. I do see offers like that on cereal a lot. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Ragu introduces perfect homemade pizza, simple as pie. So they ha they don't have this anymore, do they? It was a homemade pizza crust powder. I wonder what it was comprised of. And then pizza quick. They might still have that. I've never bought it. Look at these two little, little babes here. These two little guys. Sweet little faces. And they're giving mom flowers. Something for Easter. When you fall short of being the perfect mother, your kids are sure to let you know, but sometimes in the most unexpected way. This is an excerpt from the book Peripheral Visions by Phyllis Thoreau, mother of Justin Thoreau. So, I don't know who's responsible for this illustration here. It doesn't credit them, but Justin Thoreau would have been 10 at the time. It, I got enthralled by this little excerpt. I will look at the library to see if they have her book. It just roped me right in. I... Um, read a lot about her. Phyllis is st still alive at 85. She was a children's book author and a humorist, an activist, and she's described as having an extraordinary memory for the details of ordinary life and then using her self-effacing prose and she had a sense of mischief to her to document that. A lot of them had to do with her kids, one of them being Justin Thoreau. I never knew that about him. I don't know much about him, to be honest with you, other than he was married to Jennifer Aniston, and I've seen him in some things that he's made. 
but in this little story, she talks about how she just, she would get through Christmas as a mom and the birthdays and Thanksgiving, but when Easter would come, she just couldn't muster up the energy for like the baskets and Easter bunny and everything. And she would kind of skip it. And her kids gently reminded her that maybe they wanted to have Easter and that they would help. They brought her flowers to cheer her up. It's a very sweet story. I want to read the book. I would have wanted every single one of these. And I probably, I don't know. Colors that cling, frost shadows, and the purple earring, heavy, a lace collar, spun silver shadows, they're crease resistant, it came in 12 frost, yellow, kind of a, a teal, maybe a dusty rose, baby blue and a, like a, a brown burnt umber maybe. Very pretty. Good looks. What's new and what you can do to look your best? And they talk about prairie fashion. She even has a little armband on. No shoes, but she's got a cowboy hat. She's got the whole look going. Now's the time to start rummaging through your attic for old aprons, slips, petticoats, and camisoles. The home on the range look continues to be an important fashion trend, and it was. They talk about how you can maybe, if you don't have any money, go through your grandma's clothes to create your own look. They talk about aromatic advances. So what were the contemporary tastes at this time in fragrances? M mossy at heart, but also animal and amber notes. Think of Sunshal by Charles of the Ritz. Volcan de Moor by Diane von Wustenberg, and Furstenberg and Mizzoni from the Italian Fashion House. Then it says, check your mail this month because Wrangler was starting a direct mail coupon campaign to potential purchasers. They were sending certain people right in your mailbox a $2 coupon off of a Wrangler product. Beneath that crispness, she's ready to go make a deal here. We know you like the softness of my skin. And this was literally called my skin undergarments, bras and undies, briefs, mourners. Sheer elegance, legs, nothing beats a great pair of legs. What was the big trend in hairstyles? It's this unabashedly feminine look. The direction is up towards more height at the crown, and the effect is achieved through cutting hair to move away from the head and more directly by perming at the roots only. The result, full but not wild, casually glamorous. So let's say you're a working woman. They're going to talk about building your desk drawer beauty kit. Here we are in the 80s, right? We've got the high-powered businesswoman coming. They suggest tooth 
a toothbrush and toothpaste, hand cream, cleansing pads, perfume, a mirror. And then they even have a suggestion about what to buy. A box for $5 from the Pretty Neat line. It's a Vaseline ad for dermatology formula and 30 cents off. And they even have some microscopic tests to prove the efficacy of the lotion. Look at those guys. Let's eat first, though, sir, before you have your cigarette. Let's have this. The special spring dinner planned for four. This has an item here that I'm, I'm even going to do a double take now. And it's the first thing. Eggs and tomatoes with pink mayonnaise. I don't know about that. Breast of chicken and ham en croute. Buttered fresh asparagus. French bread and butter. You don't see it, but they have a little tutorial in here about making French bread and a strawberry macaroon pie. And McCall's always had this the timeline and it always kind of is anxiety inducing in me like 610 to 620 unwrap the the macaroons it just seems like it would be a nightmare but I don't know that's just me so let's get to this guy here he's got on a smoking jacket a tie fancy lighter who is this guy and this lady that he's with has champagne. The pleasure is back, Barclay. We've got to remember to look in the recipes when we get to them. What makes that mayonnaise pink? And really, not only what makes it pink, but why? I mean, I just I have to ask. That's just out of my curiosity. So let's pick 11 albums for a penny. But here's the catch. We have to join the Columbia House Record and Tape Club. Police. Well, I guess we could just pick the ones that are here. That would start us off, the ones that they featured. ACDC, for those about to rock, we salute you. They have Oak Ridge Boys, if you like country music. Journey Escape. That had Don't Stop Believin'. Foreigner 4, this was one of my dad's favorites. Waiting for a Girl Like You, Urgent, that had a lot of, that had a lot of hits. Genesis, Abacab, The Car, Shake It Up, Queen, oh, Stevie Nicks, Belladonna, so she was out on her own doing her thing by now. Neil Diamond, September Morn, and the original soundtrack from The Rose. Those were two albums that my mom played a lot at my house. She would put on a record and clean. And I don't recall my brother and I ever having headphones like kids do now, where we could kind of tune each other out. We lived in probably a 900 square foot house with no basement, nowhere to escape, but we would just listen to my mom's records. And as a result, I know the lyrics for, I know probably know every Simon and Garfunkel lyric, certainly every Neil Diamond lyric, a lot of musical lyrics, and that's okay. Right? It's all good. I went through these movies. So this is April 1982. I was just a kid. I wouldn't, well, I was a teenager. I wouldn't have been able to get into an R-rated movie. But I have seen one of these movies, and I know we went to the show to see it, and I'll get to that. But I, I gave my husband a quiz about what he has seen, and I kind of knew. So A Stranger is Watching... That's based on a uh, Mary Higgins Clark film. It doesn't sound like it's that good. We've never seen it. Cannery Row with Nick Nolte. That's based on a John Steinbeck novel. 
and I want to watch it because I'm just going to say this. I have read John, John Steinbeck novels, but I've never read this one and I want to know what it's about and it seems like a movie might be a good place to start. Death Trap with Michael Caine. Murder with a Twist. Nope, I've never seen it. Love and Money. It sounds like something I certain. It's a melodrama. So, that movie Making Love with uh, Kate Jackson and Michael Aunt Keen. I think he was in it. it. That certainly wouldn't have been for somebody my age. And I've never seen it. One from the heart. I want to look in more, more to this. It is by Francis Ford Coppola. doesn't sound like any film that I've ever seen of Francis Ford Coppola. It says it was much publicized. It seems like it's about, it's a love story. Quest for Fire, I remember that being out. And I've never seen it. It sounds like it's something that I don't want to watch. The Border with Jack Nicholson. I know my husband has watched this. I probably did too. I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I'll give it a try. Now, here's the one that I know I saw, and I know why I saw it. It's The Seduction with Morgan Fairchild, and it was very uh, dramatic. And she played an anchor woman who was being stalked by a psychotic photographer. Those are their words, not mine. And it was Andrew Stevens. Here he is with his mom, Stella Stevens. So we either snuck into the show to see that. Or I know I've seen it and I know we saw it at the movies. wonder what it was rated. It might have only been rated PG. I don't know. Venom, and this is not like the Venom that we think of now that has something to do with superheroes, I think. This is about um, a great big snake getting out and terrorizing the whole community. I am not want to see it. And I've seen this. Victor Victoria. We went to the show with my mom to see it. And it was because Julie Andrews was in it. And I don't remember. And, and James Garner from Rockford Files was in it. And I probably liked it. If we got to go to the show, I was usually pretty happy. It was out of the ordinary, right? So that's the story on the movies that month. Let's talk about these sachet sandals. My mom had white. No, they, they weren't called white. They had navy, sand, I'm assuming that's sand, and eggshell. So my mom had eggshell. And you could take that shoe and whoop, they were flexible. I don't know how comfortable they were, but I remember throwing my mom's on in a pinch. Eh, you know, do they still make something like that? Well, we have all kinds of shoes that emulate that now. Good living, new ideas for decorating, managing, and enjoying your home, the most important thing. A breath of fresh air. Well, you're not going to get it with this guy there, with his stinky old pipe. If you suffer from hay fever or simply just don't like stale air in your home, maybe you should get a portable air cleaner. Or if you live with him, I don't know, must have been a new thing. The filter system air cleaners cost between $20 and $70. They talk about highlighting things in your home. Metallics are in fashion everywhere. Glittery threads run through sweaters and blouses. The handbags and shoes gleam. It's in makeup too. And now it's coming to our home products with upholstery fabrics, having metallic elements. 
draperies, shades. All sorts of things. An organized buffet if you entertain a lot. They have a caddy. We don't see the picture of it, but it was from Oneida that would hold your place settings for your silverware. We invite America to clean up on us, Purex. This is all still around. It just isn't in this packaging. You could get the Carnival of Coupons. That's pretty uh, valuable, $1.50. I remember buying this. I think when I was out on my own by then 1986 or 7, the Purex bottle looked just like that because it's cheap. I mean, I'm just saying it is. I think I bought that too. And Brillo pads pretty much look the same. How do I get clearly more beautiful wood? Oh, I side with Pledge. They talk about saving electricity, not only by turning your lights off when you are not in the room, but changing your light bulbs, replacing your incandescent bulbs with fluorescent bulbs, maybe getting a three-way bulb in areas where you can get away with a softer light, reducing the wattage. If you have night lights, switch to seven or four watt. To maximize light output, paint walls in a light color and clean your ceiling fixtures frequently. They talk about Protecting the investment you've made in your upholstered furnishings. They suggest keeping a file of the tags after you acquire something somewhere to make sure that you are cleaning the item properly because cleaning things incorrectly will make them wear out quicker. What a pretty photo. Step out of your world and enter the circle of love. And we see a couple there about to kiss and a beautiful floral garland around them. Circle of love romances. A paperback romance. Look at this big red, white, and black, and it's made to look like a newspaper headline. Carlton is the lowest. Lowest on what? The tar. This is the part of McCall's where the paper changes. And it's not shiny magazine paper. It's, it feels like construction paper. Having a baby without a doctor. The rebirth of midwives. Hmm, I wonder. You see a silhouette of mom and babe there. Running a risk. If spring is here, can out-of-shape joggers and their injuries be far behind? And they talk about a common affliction called the runner's fracture that occurs at the, the end of the fibula. The spring weather might come, or the nice weather might come, and you might think, I want to get out there and jog. You got to be careful and build up to it. your bones if you're going to do that type of activity slowly. How to find money for good causes. 
And they talk about researching the charity that you are going to give to to make sure that they properly manage your money. Nursing home nurseries. We see a rocking chair and a teddy bear. They talk about the different areas, different facilities and throughout the country where they are successfully using the, re the residents of a nursing home to provide child care for working families. That's interesting. The prices jump out to me. I worked at, I've worked at home since my kids were little, a long, long, long time. But I know, I realize the struggle of uh, the expense of child care. So it says, while comparable child care in this area, which is Wisconsin, ranges from $9 to $12 a day, if you go to the Generations Daycare, it's $8.25 a day. So they're offering a savings about a dollar. Safety tips for cyclists and drivers as we get into the nice weather and people are outside more. Children should wear bright reflective clothing day and night. Night cycling obviously should be discouraged with little kids. What is the commonest error that children make on bikes age, age 8 through 12? Riding out of a driveway into the street without looking, running a stop sign, crossing an intersection against a signal, making an unexpected turn, or riding against traffic. Savings that grow on trees. It's a pretty illustration, isn't it? With a Cape Cod home and some leaves in the front. And they are talking about the strategic planting of trees around your home and how it can positively affect your, well, not only the value of your home, but your energy bills by providing shade, preventing osteoporosis. We've made a lot of advances in this. We have a lot of medications that women and men can use if you do end up getting osteoporosis. Increasing calcium intake can slow down and even prevent osteoporosis along with the addition of a thousand milligrams of calcium a day. That still remains true if, doctors, if your doctor says that's okay. Why there is no ignoring snoring. Don't ignore it. If it's kids snoring very loudly, it's often due to enlarged tonsils and adenoids. We've made a lot of advances in this regard too, with adults and even kids too, that maybe you need a CPAP machine. And there are several pr surgical procedures that they can do to reduce things uh, in your respiratory, it's tr I'm not going to say tract, they can, um, they can do palate surgery, uvula surgery. We have all kinds of surgeries now. The friendly persuasion against pornography. <laughs> this is a salacious photo here of this lady, and then we have this guy. It's a cool, a good illustration. Oh. They talk about that the uh, the struggle is real. If they only knew what was coming with the cell phones, that uh, you know, it's pretty much the wild west out there in this department, isn't it? If you choose to uh, participate in it, I don't know. It's they talk about many different communities throughout the country trying to shut down their local X-rated movie theater. Some were successful, some were not. Look at this dog smoking, where dogs can't smoke cigars. This is a cute little story about funny little laws 
I know I've seen stuff like this that has to do with regions, and there's some old antiquated law that says dogs aren't allowed to smoke cigars or something. The illustration is cool. I like it. They're promoting a book, Looney Laws, that you never knew you were breaking. It was $5. Exercises for mastectomy patients. This is also an, kind of an ad for a book that a person had written. It's called Moving Free, a total program for post-mastectomy exercises. It was developed by a dancer and a teacher. physical going to physical therapy was a thing in the 80s I don't think it was I don't I mean now I think that they would send people if you wanted to go to physical therapy I love this ad this is Excedrin just because this is the kind of thing as a, as a kid I would have sat and looked at everything this lady's at her desk life just got tougher but we got stronger she's a businesswoman or, or that but no computer, she's on a, the phone, apple, yogurt, African violet, a Rolodex, coffee, a typewriter, her kids, I'm assuming. What does she look like? I don't know, she looks like um somebody. Does she kind of look like Naomi Watts? We just watched that Truman Capote it's not. It's, it's a show about Truman Capote, about his swans. Maybe I just have Naomi Watts on the brain. And she's got her newspapers. Extra st strength, etc. And they talk about, they just had to go there treating UTIs. And it's all it's common culprit E. coli. Well, we have all kinds of different antibiotics now. Some would say that's good, some would say that's bad, but oh, I love this ad. Mazzola, one hundred percent pure corn oil. Look at these delicious vegetables, radishes, corn. Cucumber, mushroom, asparagus. I don't think I've ever bought this. I buy vegetable oil. Maybe I'll, oh, I've bought corn oil before. Now that I think of it, it's not, I don't commonly buy it. That old crock pot. Plug it in, it cooks all day. Come back late. And dine gourmet by rival. Here we have one of the Marlboro men. He's gonna lasso somebody up. I don't know. Come to where the flavor is, come to Marlboro country. When I look at these cigarette ads, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I think of my family as a kid growing up in the 70s. Everybody smoked. I am from the Midwest. I am from a family of middle class people. Some of them fancy themselves upper class. I'm just kidding. But um, my grandparents didn't, sm well, my grandma smoked like a chimney. But so only one out of my four grandparents smoked. But everybody else, the 13 kids they had between them, I'd say, let me count. Let me count the non-smokers. Two. Everybody in that generation smoked. My mom and dad, and this, this is what my mom and dad smoked. That's what made me think of them. My mom quit eventually, and so did my dad, but... My dad was much later in life to quit. That red Marlboro box. 
This is a whole series of Q&A about pet animals. This is funny. My cat will listen to singing on radio and TV and just sit there. But if I sing one note, he comes marching to me. This happens with my cat. Many cats become quite disturbed when their owners sing or whistle. I'm surprised she's not in here now. She's sleeping. But if you watch my videos, you know she is an interloper. I think it must be the pitch of my singing voice. If I start singing, she just comes running like it's distress. They talk about dogs that jump too much. If this guy gives advice. Some veterinarians advice advise removing the front claws of dogs who jump up and scratch their owners. That's pretty radical. I've never heard of that. They talk about an 11 year old cat having bad breath and they've been feeding him brewer's yeast and that will will give the dog the the cat bad breath. I thought this one was funny. This one's kind of sad. Poppy, my 5-year-old parakeet is always very well behaved. But since I put my male bird Killer in with her, Poppy has been hanging upside down while Killer sits on the swing at the top of the cage. Why is this happening, doctor? A bird hanging upside down is indeed a very sorry and unusual sight. They should be on the same perch, billing and cooing together. Judging from the older bird's behavior, she has taken a subordinate role to her new male. That sounds sad. I kind of remember this dog food. We had... German Shepherds. So it's a, it's for big dogs, Hero. I do remember it, I, I think. My husband didn't remember it. It was by Purina. They had a little dog. Look at all the different dogs on there. This was for large breeds. Because your big dog may have big bone problems. And they this was, they're saying that it would strengthen dog bones. I don't know. You and the law. My ex-husband's mother tells my son bad things about me. Can I make her stop? That's the first legal question. Next one. We've been living together for years. Do we have a common law marriage? Next one. If you're fired and replaced by a younger person, can you get your job back? about all those different issues. I'm sure that the answer to that question, or any of the questions, except for maybe the job one, has to do with what state you're in. Maybe. Here we have Brenda Vaccaro for Playtex, tampons. I never knew she was the spokesperson for Playtex tampons. I did learn something about her, though. My son was watching that show on PBS that traces your roots, celebrities. And Michael Douglas was on, and they were never married, but they were a couple for a long time. Brenda Vaccaro and Michael Douglas. And we have the two faces of Carol Burnett. Something got on this. Carol Burnett in this photo is 49. And she is today 90. And she doesn't look much different now. <laughs> she doesn't. I looked her up. You can look her up too. 
either that or I'll find a picture. But this is when she's filming Annie, directed by John Huston, and they're talking about how stressful it is. They're filming in L.A. with a bunch of kids. It's hot. And she is about to escape to her home in Hawaii. She tells Sheila Weller here, who is interviewing her. Their condo in Hawaii is a fraction of the size of their 20-room Beverly Hills mansion. But it's so beautiful and peaceful there. That's her escape. I love this ad. It's Borden. And it's our whole country with all these different Borden products on it. Borden, thank you, America Celebration. And they have different coupons. 15 cents off cheese, 7 cents off cream at pasta, 25%, 25 cents off ice cream. Eagle milk. I just thought it's so cool how there's all these different, there's Weiler's drinks on Michigan, my state. Cup of coffee. Yankee doodles. That sounds good. And they were having a contest for a $125,000 winner. I wonder who won. Carol Burnett talks a little bit about her kids. She talks about her daughter, Carrie, who she lost. I, obviously, she was alive back then, but um, she had her problems, and she, Carol Burnett talks about them. She's very candid about what they went through as a family. Her husband came from a huge family they had, like, say 13 kids and she says sometimes my husband just checks out of these family problems mentally because that's just what he how he was raised and her struggles with that she talks about how what she wanted for her kids how she envisioned their life is much different than what actually has happened, which is interesting because I think that a lot of us can say that and we're not celebrities. Here's another Borden product you could send away for a free recipe book and this recipe box with Eagle Brand. It's a 28-page book. Here's a I love these shoes. Daniel Green Shoes, Outdoorables. This was out of Dolgeville, New York. This one came in black, bone, lilac as pictured, mocha, navy, red, white, and yellow. This one came in bone, brown, camelot, Green, I'm assuming that's green. It's like a true Kelly green. Red, white, and yellow. Carol Burnett's story. Carol Burnett had a very interesting childhood, and my aunt just wrote a book about her. There's been quite a few books written, if you want to learn more about her. It's, some of it's a little, very sad. I definitely remember Chef's Blend. This is what my mom bought our cat, T.T. It was a four-flavor dinner with a white cat eating out of a white bowl, and these roasts have spigots for the ad stuck into them. Turn on the juice. Turn on your cat. It's cute. Here comes our perfect crusty French bread 
kind of a tutorial. Is McCall's, you know, there was McCall's cooking school, that whole series. This will show us what to do. And this was a natural stoneware baker that you could buy. The information is coming. beef and somehow nothing satisfies like beef from the beef industry council and it does look good just wait till they walk through that door and smell this roast beef cooking my husband would have tears in his eyes i wish sunday came seven days a week I always thought these cigarettes were so pretty. I guess that they were the prettiest cigarette ever. Eve Lights. I don't remember who I knew that smoked these, but they had flowers on them on near the uh, filter. And the business lady, she's ready. She's got her jacket over her shoulder and her cigarette. How much was the bread baker? Wow, they were sixteen ninety five plus two dollars. That's a lot. The secret to a perfectly browned crust of French bread is to moisten the surface of the loaves with cold water just before baking. Hmm. This natural stoneware baker that they're trying to sell here absorbs the moisture because it holds and evenly distributes heat and so the yeast can work longer. Hmm. This lady is from Michigan. She's from Wixom, Michigan and she won a contest from front all these French's packets of seasoning mix. I knew Rick loved it. He finished the whole pot. In its Darlene Herbs Brunswick stew, it does look good, doesn't it? So congratulations, Darlene. And it has onions, oil, tomatoes, two cans, and sherry or water. You're using a beef stew seasoning mix, corn, a package of frozen corn, a package of frozen lima beans. I would have to leave that. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> salt, chicken or turkey though, four cups, okra and zucchini. So you're using chicken or turkey in a beef stew seasoning mix. Very clever, and I love her kitchen. I want to, I want to be in her kitchen. Another cute ad. Facts about our chips and nutrition that you. And your star of the stage should show. And they show this little guy. They're in a play. Is it Huckleberry Finn? I don't know. It looks like maybe he's meant to look like he's painting a fence. And there must have been a big brouhaha about calories in snack foods. Because this is like a, an article almost, isn't it? Facts about the cholesterol and preservatives, salt calories but here more interestingly is what all the snack bags look like lays cheetos tostitos fritos doritos and ruffles we're hitting the food pages hard here creamy cucumber by wishbone i remember my we went through a spell where my mother was buying this all the time. Never creamy bell pepper. I just don't remember that. This had real cucumber bits, or this one had bell pepper, and a creamy wishbone, probably ranch. I don't ever remember having ranch dressing as a kid. I do remember that coming out, though, and us eating it on salad. It's kind of, well, it is. It's McCall's Cooking School, a succulent pot roast. And it looks like, okay, so this is boulanger. 
in French, which means baker style, translated. So this is a rib roast, cooked to perfection, rubbed with herbs, and it's roasted with vegetables. This is on a bed of potatoes and onions. This is in true cooking school fashion. They give you step by step in the recipe. So boulanger, baker style. This dish went on a diet and lost 500 calories. Eggplant marinara. Why? Because you're cooking it in pan instead of oil, butter, or short butter or shortening. Seems like an awful lot of calories. Start with Pam. Your recipes turn out right. It looks good. Oh, here's a huge cigarette ad. Merit. There's a money talk section. They talk about what to do if you can't pay your mortgage. One of the suggestions is ask your family for money. Oh, not everybody has family or friends that are going to give them that. I, I don't know about some of this advice that they're giving. But the last one is really where I would start is the bank may be more flexible than you think. As long as you can convince them that you will be able to catch up on your payments within a reasonable time, they might want to work with you because they will try to avoid foreclosure. <laughs> I hope. I, I hope that uh, that is true. If you lose your credit cards, what happens if you lose your credit card more than once? One possibility is that the bank or credit card company may cancel your card. Really? I doubt that very, very highly in this day and age. I think they're going to be willing to work with you, especially if you use it a lot and pay them interest. IRA penalties, what they really amount to. This may have changed with the times. I don't know. I know before you do anything, if you have an IRA, make sure make sure you're not going to have to pay taxes and what the penalty is going to be. This talks about investing in federal and gas, federal oil and gas lotteries. And they're being pr pr promoted by filing services. And they put that in quotes. I've never heard of this. Every other month, the U.S. Bureau of Land Management conducts a lottery to lease parcels of federal land for people who want to explore for oil or gas. And that's fine, but I guess it was this these companies that were trying to maybe act as agents or brokers and how you had to be careful that they weren't con artists. And I'm just going to, this really sounds like something my dad would have gotten roped up in. Maybe not at this, during this time, but I've never heard, I've never heard of such a thing. Reach out and touch someone by Bell. This dad is so proud because his daughter has won. I wonder where they live. S. I don't know. But she earned a letter in tennis, just like old dad has his letter sweater. I don't know what sport he played. And she's got her tennis bag. And he is bragging on the phone. And Bell Systems is saying, go ahead, reach out and touch someone. Go ahead and brag. They have a traditional home in the background. But what, where my eye went, and they would never have this in a magazine now, they have cord. And it's even on the floor. It's almost like literally they went to somebody's house and this isn't staged. But they would not even have a cord. The light's not even on. That's just me. I'm just saying that. What do you think? 
Am I thinking too much about this stuff? I don't know. New Duncan Hines brand muffins. So the muffins are so moist and delicious, you may forget to butter um. Why my marriage went wrong. Recently divorced men talk openly about what they had expected from marriage, what they think they've learned, and how they feel about doing it all again. There's our graphic. The wedding ring slowly fades into, well, you can still kind of see it there. We talked to different guys. This man, Dave, is a 39-year-old guidance counselor in a suburban school system. He says, I swear we should pass a law that nobody gets married until they're 35. I think that might be a good idea. I'm just kidding. Let them live together if they want to, but no marriage. There's just an awful lot to be said for maturity and growth and knowing yourself. And when we're 21 or 18, we don't know ourselves nearly as well as we think we do. Isn't that the truth? If you let yourself become enraged with your spouse and the rage goes beyond a certain threshold, the damage is going to be irreparable. And it seems like that's possibly what's happened in three of these four marriages in various forms. That's not good. Good on a romantic face for the spring. It's a very spring looking photo, very purple. This is Merle Norman's Persian Garden Collection. Shades of lavender with periwinkle, violet, and pink iris. Remember the Merle Norman stores? I never went in one. I never did. I remember them being a thing at malls. This is very pastel. And I remember having a necklace like this. It wasn't, it didn't have those pearls like that, but it was pink and blue. And I, I got it around this time. It wasn't as pastel either. It was around 1982. What better way to greet the warm breezes of spring than delicate pink? So this is from Ultima's Safari collection, this pink palette. We have over here, this is all from Maybelline. It's a cool as a cucumber look. The eyes are outlined in hazy green. Cheeks are burnished with pale peach and the lips glimmer with melon. All by Maybelline. Let me show a manicured female hand with a wedding ring punching through something showing your anger the real risks no matter how close you feel to the man you love there is one profound emotion you may still not dare express anger why what's this doing to you in your marriage they talk mostly about keeping things bottled up and how it's going to explode one day, and that's not going to be good for anybody involved. In a revealing profile of Betty Ford, our former first lady that appeared in McCall's, she acknowledged that, like other wives of ambitious men, she had to raise her children with little emotional support from an often absent husband. She was, of course, a member of a generation of women who did not get angry, they did not complain. She emulated a strong mother 
whom she saw as perfect. She tried to bury her frustrations and resentments deep within her, but they surfaced in her case, as we all know, in the form of alcoholism. It's another great illustration of three kids. This is by an author, Susan Kenny. Their childhood was going so fast. She wanted to share every minute. The rest of her life could wait, couldn't it? And the illustra like I said, the illustration is wonderful. This lady, Susan Kenny, is still away, um, alive, not awake. She might be awake. She's 82 years old, and she is best known for writing the Roz Howard Mysteries. But this is a lovely little story, M might even be about her own life, about taking time for herself, away from her kids, and coming to terms with her need for that. Herself, to be a better mom, be happier, and that it was okay. And it was her husband that encouraged that, and made it happen because he was doing more helping, getting the kids out of her hair. This is going to venture into politics. Here's our Nicole's discount card. Anyway, I'm going to leave that in here. I had never heard of this lady. This is her husband. They're both dead. This is um, Phyllis Shafley. My husband had heard of her because my husband follows politics far more than I do. It's just, he always has. This lady, Phyllis, had, um, she was a lawyer. She had a few unsuccessful congressional seat runs. She was very conservative and she believed in very conservative roles for women. And the lady that interviewed her was a polar opposite of her politically. And I think that this lady, Barbara Harrison, does a very good job meeting in the middle, at least listening to this lady. She's got some pretty, I don't know if I would say radical, but she's got very traditional ideas that are kind of funny to read about now in this day and age. But she successfully lobbied against the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment. She was very opposed to it. And to this day, it's not a, an amendment. I don't know if it ever will be. She spent a lot of time and energy fighting against it. One of the reasons that she gives why is that she felt that women were going to be drafted into the military. I don't know if she really felt that or if she was trying to scare people. I don't know. I, again, I don't know about people that are involved in politics. She sounds like somebody, it was interesting to read about her. And her kids are still, at least some of her kids are still involved in politics. So it's going to be Easter. At least it was back then in 1982 because they hadn't had a March Easter. I think some Orthodox um, follow, follow, faith followers don't have their Easter till May this year. But we can just take a look at the recipes no matter what. So look at that little lamb up there. This is an Austrian Easter braid and I want this. It is dough studded with almonds and raisins in an egg. <laughs> that is a lamb-shaped cake. I want that too. An Italian Easter pie with sausage, prosciutto, ham, and cheese. I want that. And little Easter basket cookies that have a, a brightly colored egg in the middle. And down here, we have a lake of lamb. 
And then that is a molded spinach ring with a phyllo dough pastry. And um, I want that too. I just think these are so cute. This is a little, I don't know how, see how you feel about this. So these are some favorites from France. This is an Easter praline cake that has spring green marzipan on top. I like it. This is a special pork pate en croute with a succulent sausage filling, but they've taken a cookie cutter and they've cut some little piggies out of the dough and put them on top. Just in case you forgot which animal you were eating. This is a basket made of cookies. It's an edible basket. It is butter rich cookie dough and these are eggs with peanut butter and coconut cream dipped in chocolate. And of course you have to have a cup of coffee. I want that. I want it. This looks so beautiful too, the photography. How do you top a perfect baked potato? Bacon? Caviar? What do you think? Chives, mushrooms, avocado, parsley, cheese, tuna, herb butter. Sauce. We'll talk about pretty soon making a baked potato into a meal itself. Now, let's say you want us to plant your garden outside your bedroom window, or maybe outside your kitchen or dining room, anywhere really, and you wanted the, some beautifully scented flowers to do their thing and waft some lovely scents in your open window. Well, here's what to plant with minimum of work and care. I don't know about that. Sweet alyssum, I have grown that. It's easy to grow. It's a little teeny tiny white flowers that often come in wildflower seed packets. Rosemary grows shrub-like. I've never grown it. Lavender, lavender cotton, it says. A heliotrope. I've never planted that. Common stock. There's a night scented stock. They release a strong, delightful fragrance at night. They prefer sun, rich soil, and simple moisture. It says you can sow them in the ground in March or April. It doesn't say anything about zones. I might try that one. I'm going to try to grow some new seeds this year. Mignonette. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Likes rich, cool soil. Geranium. Scented geranium. Sweet pea. Well, maybe I'll try to grow that too. Choose a heat-resistant strain if you're in a hot, arid region. Narcissus, that's a daffodil, isn't it? Regal lily, spring snowflake. Then we're getting into the ground covers and perennials. Artes Artemisia, also called southern wood or old man. I'll have to look up what that, these are illustrations I'm gonna look up what a photo looks like. A border carnation. Another Artem Art Artemisia. Oh, Dusty Miller, I've heard of that. So it's a different uh, variety. Peony. Now, I have so many peonies in my yard. It's, and they're, they're, they're purple right now. They're shooting up their purple shoots. And they are, they've been here for decades. I planted a couple of them, but the rest of them are vintage. I'll show them on a video. 
once they start doing their thing. Lavender, chrysanthemum, and hyssop. A few that I'm gonna look up for my garden experiment that I'm gonna do this year. I am going to have more time to work in my yard. I, uh, my work situation changed through, um, just, it's just what happens. We lost an account and I will have more time to work in the yard. I'm not, I'm not sweating it out yet. This is the pastel version and they've got some like Angora, I think, yarn as opposed to that one. It's kind of the same idea. It's that that sleeve that just goes right underneath your elbow. That it says of this sweater, there's no real front or back. Here's another variation of it. And she's got on this like a patchwork skirt and more bangles. And it's pretty, isn't it? It's a greens and blues and browns. And there's even a pink and green, a uh, blue there. More Angora. So she says, I'm not as sweet as Pamela. Mother Nicole's send in coupon there. So according to this, she's talking about the man in her life, Andy Gibb. And they even talk about in great detail how their homebodies and their cats and kind of like a day in the life. At the time she was 32, he was 24. She had a few years on him. They discuss that and how oh, that doesn't that doesn't bother them. Uh, they don't think that they're going to have kids, but maybe they'll get married. She ended up never having children. But like I said in the beginning of this uh, video, according to the internet, they had broken up already. They met on the John Davidson show. And she had just gotten d divorced from her first husband. And they fell in love. But she had to call it quits because of his drug use. And, you know, he died in 88, so. It's very sad. I, this, is, uh, this is related to Dallas. I remember my mom watching Dallas. I was, I mean, it was on. We only had one TV, so I think I kind of watched it. But I know that it was on, on, at least for most of the time during its run, it was on Friday nights at 9. And my mom would stake out the living room, like, you know, stake out her chair. And the Knott's Landing came on after, which was a spinoff, because supposedly what that... Um, the main character, Gary Ewing, was like the black sheep of the Ewing family. And I I think that Knott's Landing ran for a long, long, like 14 seasons too. But the interesting thing I learned about Dallas is that the only character that appeared on Every Dallas episode of that original run was obviously J.R. And uh, talking about Victoria Principal too, they also did her and Andy Gibb, and we had the album. We had the 45. She, she put out a single with him, All I Have to Do is Dream. If you remember that, it was um, a remake of the Everly Brothers song. Here are all the instructions to, cro is it knit or crochet, whatever, those um, sweaters. 
Is it knitting or crocheting? It might be both. My crocheting is limited to washcloths, which I can make a great crocheted washcloth. I can, but I just don't have the, I don't have the drive to do it, you know? I did it one time, then it came and went. Phyllis, her interviewer does bring up some, she, she, they had like point counterpoint. They had a very spirited debate about the Equal Rights Amendment. She was a child of the Depression and she admired Ronald Reagan. Some of the stuff that this lady says, though, it's just, you know, I mean, you can make your own judgment. Um, she once remarked that no virtuous woman was ever sexually harassed. And she says about one question about battered women, don't they have family or friends that can help them or church? Not everybody does. And she's talking about asking for assistance in that situation. It's a very long article. Now I know about her. I will know if we're watching Jeopardy. And she's the answer to a question. I think I'll be able to come up with her name. Look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Bay Area on Cloud 9 over... Kent three, taste, come to Taste City. What it's a beautiful photograph. Do you still make those fiber and stimulant tablets? I've never taken them, but I kind of feel like maybe I need these. I'm just kidding. So it's like two cups of coffee squeezed into a little tablet. It's just caffeine. Yeah, I was wondered about it. Like, what would I be like if I take Vibrin? Would I be more vivacious? How the IRA would affect women? Well, they're not going to have to worry about it because it still did never get passed. There is a congressional caucus to revive this. And one of the... One of Phyllis's arguments was, well, if we pass this, if we amend the Constitution, uh, people who are gay will be able to get married. Well, they've, we've already hashed that out, I think. Oh, this is all different cities. We have San Francisco, now we have Motown. I know where that is. Come to Taste City, that's the Renaissance. The Renaissance Center. Is there another one? Nope, looks like it ends then. They have a recipe for Carol barbecue sauce. Looks delicious. They're even putting them on hot, it on hot dogs. Corn oil, onion, dark corn syrup. This does sound good. Ketchup, cider vinegar, prepared mustard, Worcestershire sauce. You can make it aromatic by adding oregano and basil or fruity with orange juice. You can make it with beer. Or make a chili sauce with chili powder. Cranberry or cran grape. Ocean spray. Not much has changed there, except for maybe the price and the quantity. I gotta show this to my husband. Several of my neighbor's dogs, how many do they have, have darted into traffic and been killed. What's the best way to teach a dog to be afraid of moving cars? Unfortunately, very few dogs are intelligent enough to know that automobiles are dangerous. I have to um, disagree with that. For this reason, it's essential for every dog to receive some basic obedience training. I hope so. That's sad.
This is a cheesy onion sauce. It's just Velveeta, milk, and onion powder. Cheese whiz. A blend of natural cheeses that's already ready. And this is a recipe for Mexican Fiesta pie. Ground beef, green pepper, onion, cheese whiz, chili powder, and tomato, and then you're making the crust. And it's pretty basic. Eggs, flour, salt, milk, and a little bit of cornmeal. You can also put it on vegetables. The pink mayonnaise recipe from before, I looked, I skipped it. What made the mayonnaise pink? And this doesn't really sound that bad. I don't know why I was, I was so judgmental about it. It just doesn't look so great. Um, it's ketchup and capers. It probably tastes good. I don't know. So Dave, our unhappy husband, says, how, how is he going to approach his new marriage? What, what is going to be his mantra for making this one work? He says, make sure you feel good about yourself. Well, that's, that can take a lot of work. And then react on an emotional, honest emotional level to the other person. So much strange, isn't it, that so much time must pass, so much pain endured before we arrive at so simple and civilized a truth about marriage. Hmm. Hope springs eternal. I hope Dave was happy in his new marriage. So this must have been a ranch. I think ranch dressing used to be called buttermilk dressing, right? I don't remember my mom ever buying this. She bought that creamy cucumber. Sour cream in it. Fresh buttermilk and sour cream. Lavoris. Some more of our recipes. Cambridge cigarettes. I don't remember these Nabisco crackers. My mom bought Nabisco crackers. And I will show you which one she bought. I don't remember potato sesame. Did it taste like a chip? Maybe a potato chip? Wheat thins she bought. So there's all the different ones. Uh, they had vegetable thins. Country crackers, sociables. She might have bought that at Christmas time. I don't know. Triscuits she bought. And remember those, they were just called bacon and then better cheddars. And they would send you a coupon. Chicken and a biscuit and Swiss cheese were the other ones that she bought. No, they were called bacon thins. I'm sorry. The Swiss cheese ones that looked like a little piece of Swiss cheese. Then they had holes in them. At least when I was... That's how they used to make them, and the chicken and a biscuit. Little scribblers keep busy with the scribbler. This little guy. What was it? It was by Western Publishing Company. Oh, it was a white and color and wipe off books, picture playboards, or look and learn puzzles. A pre scrub with a little bit of. Apricot pit, ground into it. We're going to get into some of our um, more personal products here that we won't get too much into. But it sure seems like maybe it was a big deal to have these products back then. That's all I'm going to say. Jeans. 
Gee, Mom, I don't have a sandwich appetite. Look how little that thing is. A piece of bologna on a couple pieces of white bread. I've got a manwich appetite. Manwich. Don't remember my mom making manwiches too much, but my mother-in-law sure did. She had two boys, and it was a staple when we would go to eat at her house for a long, long time. Golden Delights cigarettes? Never, I don't remember those. Golden Lights. Oh, maybe I do. They've added the D. More of our recipes. And they have about 5 million little potato toppers. It goes on forever. Baked potatoes with sour cream and caviar. Baked potatoes Florentine with spinach and Swiss cheese. That sounds good. Baked potatoes with cottage cheese. Cheese stuffed. Baked potatoes. They have cream cheese. Oil. Oil. Old English scratch cover. Look at this little guy. Tommy just ran his truck over this table, but the mom fixed it. An old Maxwell House ad. Master Blend. And they go into great detail on how they they produce the coffee beans differently. That was by General Foods. Duncan Hines Double Fudge Brownie Mix. So moist they cling. I remember that commercial. It's broken, but he still could stick them together. That's my mother's specialty haircut. Any child, I don't care, worldwide, it doesn't matter. All, all of the continents, my mom could give that child that haircut, and they would look exactly like that. Baked potatoes paysan. What is that? Ooh, grated cut cheddar cheese and sour cream. Farmer style cheese and green pepper and onion. Tuna stuffed potatoes. No. They sure don't make these anymore because we would, my husband will want these. So these were Pepperidge Farm delis and you could get, you could get this in a Reuben. Chicken salad, scrambled eggs, sliced beef, turkey, or Western style omelet. I did not ever know that. Guacamole topped potatoes, chicken and mushroom sauce, topped potatoes, beef stroganoff topped potatoes, all kinds of sauces with parsley butter, sour cream and horseradish, lemon butter, aim toothpaste, aim blue, or aim new mint. What was the blue one? It just says regular. Nuance says yes, but please remember, you can always say no. It's a pretty ad. She looks like she has a nightie on, and the nails are lovely. Cody Nuance. Now we come into home repairs, and they talk about making screens for your gutters so they don't clog. Taking up asphalt tile in your bathroom, do they mean asbestos tile? I don't know what they mean by asphalt tile, but this really was kind of scary because it says an easy method for removing asphalt tiles is to use dry ice. Place a 10 pound block of dry ice over the section of the floor that you want to start working on and allow it to sit there and then you can get the tile up with a scraper. I don't know what an asphalt tile is, but I certainly know what an asbestos tile is because I've lived in two old houses and they, they all have asbestos tile in the basement. They talk about redoing an antique table, sealing a butcher block table properly with the proper wood sealer. Painting tips. Mine smoothing lotion. What is it? Easy up. 
from Coconut Grove, Florida. Rush me. Blank bottles at a dollar fifty each. No, that was for the shop shipping. They were eighteen dollars. What was it? I wonder. It that was a lot of money back then. Eighteen dollars. Tasty treats by the dozen. They have this tart pan. Aren't they lovely? With a folded napkin and a goblet. All different toppings. And it was $10 plus a dollar shipping. Or maybe you want this. It is a thermometer spoon. And they were nine dollars plus dollar fifty shipping perfect for candy icing sauces jams custards and deep fat frying too this was twelve fifty you could send away to anthony richards in cleveland ohio it came in mint or peach There's Peacock chair in the background, a Morticia Adams chair. Add $2 for XL. This ham dinner. Tangy orange ham glaze. You need a wrath ham. Brown mustard, concentrated orange juice, corn syrup, cornstarch, water, and cooking spray. And then they have a nice rice with green onions cooked in chicken broth and almonds. That sounds very good. They were offering a $2 cash rebate to tie in with our rebate story before. Here is a Tupperware ad, four panels mixed in with showing your anger. They have a season and serve container. This was new. Remember if you would go to a Tupperware party, they would give you this little change keychain. Serving bowls, and of course, maybe you want to make a career of this. How to start your career. Look at all those cool Tupperware products. They talk about anger. There's always the calculated list, risk Calculate a risk that a display of sharp feeling may break open the thin membrane covering a sack of emotional poison. Wow. Yet, sometimes in a mutually destructive marriage, only separation and divorce can lead to a new life of happiness. That emotional, that sack of emotional poison... Oh, who wrote that? Almond paste by Blue Diamond. Mm -hmm. Did they get the recipe? Oh. It's an eight ounce tin, just the right size for icing a cake or making elegant breakfast page pastry or a batch of almond cookies. Hmm. Carol Burnett, remember our story about her? So now she's 90. At the time, she's about 50. And they say, where do you see yourself as an older person? And she says, when I grow up, she's saying this playfully, I want to be Ruth Gordon, a woman who at 80 is so vital and interesting that her kids are always saying, we've been trying to get hold of you for days. And she also says she wants to be her daughter's friend, and she thinks that can happen. Here's Shirley Jones. She is making Triscuit pizzas. Don't they look good? And the recipe is pretty easy. Get yourself a box of Triscuits. <laughs> Top them with pizza sauce, or you could use spaghetti sauce, mozzarella cheese, oregano, whatever, and then whatever you want. 10 minutes in a 400 oven. I think I can remember making those. Was it a commercial? 
I, my mom loved her Triscuits and we often had Triscuits. I'm a Kava convert. What is Kava? It was an instant coffee by Borden. Anything goes with hush puppies. Which ones do you choose? I would choose that one, the regatta. Navy, pictured, also red, khaki, black and white. This was petal. And this is in camel, but it also came in a lilac, navy and white. Willow three, pictured in red, also navy, lilac, green and natural. And there's the hush puppies dog. And those ladies are all wearing a pair of hush puppies. And Edgar Hummels. Two new ways to play it, cool lights and cool ultra. Things we need in the, from the drugstore. Feminine stuff and Bayer aspirin or bufferin for arthritis. More continuation about the garden instructions. And I think, yep, they had a, even a, illustri an illustration of where to put your plants. Here's your window with your window box. And I bet your house would smell great. Rosemary and sweet pea and all those stocks. I'm going to look up all those flowers and whatever is the easiest to grow from seed. That's what I'll try. And this whole lawn here, it's a thyme lawn. Like parsley, sage, rosemary, and look at these cute Rice Krispie treats that they've shaped into Easter eggs, bunnies. Ducks, flowers, so cute. Have fun making this Easter collection of marshmallow treats with Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Here are more beautiful flowers. Day I have plenty of daylilies. Jupiter's beard. <laughs> Valerian, I've heard of that. Time. I've got violets everywhere. Sweet Woodrow. Autumn clematis, lilacs. I don't have any, but I live around some ancient lilacs. They're, they'll be doing their thing soon. Daphne, mock orange, roses, of course, and snowball by Burlum. My mom has those next door to her, I'm pretty sure. Aerobic dancing. That's Cheryl Teague, isn't it? That's somebody... No, I'm sorry. This is Jackie Sorensen. And you could send away for her aerobics book. It kind of looked like her. Did you have to, what does it have to do with the salad dressing? Send in the neckband for any salad dressing and then eleven ninety five for her book. Aerobics was a big deal back then. Happy Birthday to Me by Diane Stillman. Diane is talking about even growing older in age and still acknowledging another trip around the sun and not being ashamed about it. I'm guilty. I'm not ashamed of it, but I'm guilty of just saying I'm not having a birthday this year. She's 58. Unlike children, adults understand that celebrations have meaning, and as such, we value them all the more. She should celebrate anything. <laughs> more you. This poor lady. Here she is with her. Well, she. I mean, she looks happy, but I don't. I. I don't get it. Did she? They're leaving. They're getting in the elevator. What's this bird got to do with it, though? Everybody's happy. It's beige, it's slender, it's more you. I've heard some arresting news, says this policeman here. Secret strong enough for a man, but listen, that's the ticket. Secrets made just for us women. Sorry, officer, look at that dress. Dress is by Birgitta. B-I-R-G-I-T-T-A, Beverly Hills. It is beautiful. Remember 
that with such, it's not, it's not that ad and campaign anymore, right? Secret was strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. <laughs> I don't know. It's a great magazine. I have, um, I found these in, I found a few 80s magazines at an estate sale. I'm rummaging around in somebody's basement. But this was April, so I figured it's April. Let's take a look at it 42 years later. Thank you for watching. Bye.